Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we have the three separate differential equations, each multiplied together will give us differential equation of the original wave function. We want to manipulate them just a little bit more to get them into the right format. So in the first equation, we're going to multiply both sides by the function phi. When we do that, we end up with a differential equation in a very familiar format for which we know the solution quite readily. The second differential equation, we're also going to multiply both sides, but this time with the function phi. And if we do that, again, we get the format that we want, and in a format where we can draw the information out of it that we want to. And we'll show you how to do that on the next video. And finally, the third differential equation, we're going to multiply that times r, which is the function r, divided by the variable r squared. And if you do that, again, notice that we'll get the differential equation in the correct format for us to readily be able to solve it and also to be able to draw the information out of it that we need to right here in order to figure out the correct values for the quantum numbers of the electron in the hydrogen atom. So we have our three differential equations. Once we get the solution to the three differential equations, we will be able to find the solution to our original wave function and by putting certain conditions on the values of these, we will be able to find the proper values or the limitation of the values on the quantum numbers that will direct us on how the structure of the atom is set up based upon the solution to both the differential equations and the values for the quantum numbers. And that's what we're trying to do here. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that next.